We are just about to depart down the Sunday Creek towards Norway Lake. Tim and I have come out to Algonquin Park for a nice, easy four-day uh, camping trip on Norway Lake. We thought we would make a nice, easy camping trip this time because we've done this many times, just a beautiful paddle up Sunday Creek and get to our campsite. Norway Lake is a beautiful lake, easy to get to. You just paddle down Sunday Creek and you're here. There's two sites. We've got a beautiful site, which is on a point. Fantastic. Well, it didn't turn out that way. This easy paddle down Sunday Creek became the worst paddle I have ever had. It started out great. Where we put in, the creek looked nice and high. It had plenty of water in it, so we thought this was going to be a nice, easy paddle. At least it's got water. Like the last time I came down with my friend's son, it was very shallow. Maybe about 10, 15 minutes into the paddle, we come to a beaver dam. Oh, fuck a doodle doo. This is why it's high. This is easy. Ugh. This is a fuck you beaver. Um, shouldn't they have told us about this when we got our permit? Oh, this seems you problematic. Yes, it can. That looks really shallow now. It does. Fucking beavers. Fucking beaver. Oh, the water level looks nice and high. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking beaver. Yes, that rain helped. Oh, I don't want to walk the whole way in the mud and. <laughs> The water level was fine when we started. We hit a beaver dam, which was probably at least a meter. I was here last summer and there were no big beaver dams on Sunday Creek heading down towards Norway. This is a big beaver dam. We thought the water was high. <laughs> nice. It's because of this dam. This dam, beaver dam. So we pulled the canoe over top of that. <laughs> Got down below, but the water on the far side was insanely shallow. The creek dried up. We paddled about 20 seconds and then got stuck in the mud. We were touching bottom almost the whole way. We tried, we tried, we kept going, we checked and it just wouldn't work. We came up here with some friends of ours, Tina and Carol. They were kayaking down with us. We thought this would be great, nice, easy little paddle for some people who haven't done backcountry camping a whole lot. Tina and Carol are some badass women. I don't know many people who would do what we did. <laughs> right, Tom, I'm photo bombing. Okay, do the picture now. At least we're moving. It's a paddle. It's pushing. No, we're right in the lock. We gotta go that way. Back a bit, back a bit. Let me sit 
Come on. I don't know. I must have. Seen. got problems. This is way too shallow. You figured they would have told us that. But you said other people have been in here, so... Okay, where did I come? This way? Or not? That way. Yeah, no. right along that log. No. Okay. At one point, we couldn't get any further down the river at all. And we we're thinking, do we turn back? Do we continue? We looked at the map, saw that we're more than halfway down, so continue is what we decided. We ended up having to take the canoe out, take all the gear out, and try and portage across the marsh. Yeah, yeah. If anywhere was a good place to do that, that would have been good. That was absolutely horrendous. You're walking through waist deep shrubbery, stepping on mounds of grasses, trying to avoid the soggy, mucky bits where you'll sink up to your knee. We got into this stuff that was chest deep. I don't want to have to be rescued by helicopter because we can't get out. We've been three hours and we're not even halfway. We figured we could go on shore, go a little bit, and it just turned into a hellacious little trip that should have been so easy. It took forever. It was absolutely exhausting. Going through the swamps, carrying backpacks, carrying all our gear back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, trying to carry everything. We're looking at the map going, we're almost there. No. No creek again, paddle, no, it just kept going on. So, I don't know, five and a half, six hours it took us, which normally takes less than an hour. Is it getting any better? Okay. You might have to roll up your pants and get wet. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
<laughs> well, yeah, it's, it's a long time. Um, we just arrived at our campsite on Norway Lake. We're the site we wanted. It's on a nice point. I've just put my chair out and I'm sitting in it. I'm sitting for a little while before I do anything else. That was quite exhausting. Um, <laughs> don't want to do that again. We I actually have absolutely no idea how we're getting out of here because there's no way to get back up that river um, and no other way out of here. <laughs> so we got a few days to figure that out. Anyway, we're here. Oh. Tina and Carol ended up camping at the other site on Norway Lake because nobody was there that night. We made it to the site that we wanted and then set up my tent. As I was setting up the tent, rain came again pretty hard. Uh, it was just a rush to get a tarp over top to keep it dry. <laughs> it, was, it was crazy. But later on, things did calm down. Tim and I paddled over to visit Tina and Carol on their site, sat around the campfire with them for a little while. Chat, have some fun. That part was great. Then paddled back to our site. Uh, in the dark, which was quite nice. That it was dead calm, and uh, it was it was really cool. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you really enjoy these videos, and if you do, please, please subscribe, hit that bell, get notified when more videos are up, and look forward to having you on our channel.